the safe red is really is what this frame is all about now and I don't think either player particularly wanted it in play at this stage. Uh, beautifully struck. He spent a long time lining that up. Oh, what a pot again. That's the second absolutely stunning long red. This time Wilson has got in with the double and he's on the black. Ah, oh, well, I didn't expect that. Pot of red is as difficult as that and miss a black off the spot and the queue thumps against the ground, echoes around the building. Boiling up as he walked back to his seat, couldn't help himself. Now this looks absolutely perfect. Alan Wilson with the problem. Well played. Well, he certainly has the advantage now. Shot, isn't it? First of all, obviously hits it, but if he leaves it on, 22 behind. Good spell in the frame. Oh, it's a great hit. He'd love a little kiss on the green. Well, I think he'll take that, Karen Wilson. Good shot. thought they could finish anywhere. I'm not sure that was all about knocking on the table. It's Kyron getting himself a little bit at it, I think. May have felt that he, the snooker had been fluked, but I don't think he should be doing that personally. Not on the other. His opponent is at the table and just walk into the table to play a shot. A little unnecessary. Not going to say I'm completely unfazed by anything that happened there. These first two frames have been a little well, scrappy to say the least, actually. So not quite done, this frame. The problem with complaining about luck is that everyone has it and you can't control it. And every player will have good and bad luck at times. Although a lot of players only seem to remember the bad luck. So that was why I think it was important that really upon Sankam, when he had that shot on the yellow with the rest, he had to get it because the frame's still in the balance, this kind of level. Contact made. Well, that's not going to cheer up. Garen Wilson, the double kiss. Pretty sure it was a kick as well. It sounded horrible when it contact was made. So the task has become that much harder than his captain. Still playing on for sure here, Kyron. Wilson needing two snookers. That's not a snooker, I don't think. But, not punished, or is he? Well, he might just take things back down here to the, you might pot green, brown and blue here, I suspect. Black is not a bad ball to get a snooker behind. And then would be one snooker, wouldn't it, to tie? I don't think brown and blue where they are on the table, not really helping matters all that much. 
and he's in the frame still on that basis. As we know, you don't get that many options on the pink and black though to get a snooker because you don't get the snooker, your opponent will drop it over the pocket or hopefully in the pocket. Oh, it's a really good effort that. That's so where you see the problem now. You, you could drop this all the way along the cushion here or play it into the let certainly try and put it over a hole. Hard to get a snooker from in there. Well, well, keep that one out. Exactly. I'll whack it. Oh, he has done. <laughs> wow. I think he's slightly surprised. He has left a chance at it, but even so, he did well to keep it out. He did very well. It looked like it was hanging over the... Pocket to me. And he can't, he hasn't potted it now. Where's this cue ball? Where's the white going? Surely not. Surely not. Oh, my word. Well, he shouldn't have been anywhere near there. I mean, that was a, it's a sin, really. Maybe he's feeling the extra pressure playing in the team. Good effort this, but not there. Sankam was very fortunate there that he didn't go in off. The chances to kill this off. He's actually all over the place at the moment, you know, enough on Sankam. He can't quite deliver the killer blow in this frame. He's a strong favourite still. Twice across the table for Kyron. Not the worst effort we've seen. Wow, that's a great shot. That is a great shot. Don't forget, it'll only be the tie if he does miss. Oh, that was a good shot. Well, that's kind of taken the wind out of his sails a little bit, Kyron Wilson, Team England. It's another great shot. You see, the black is in a fair position to get snookers. It can go wrong. Get some of it. Could be an option to get a snooker here, but I tell you what, it isn't easy because it drops in behind the black. He's almost potting the pink. It's done well. Strange frame, this. Very odd. Could be another one. Again, this is a missable one. And this time he has missed it. This frame may have a real final twist to it. Well, Wilson has worked so hard to get into this position in a frame he looked long odds to win. Six. I should say we might not of this frame. This is to make it all square in the frame. 59 points each. We've got a respotted black. Incredible. What grit Karen Wilson has shown there. He really did show great temperament. Well, I don't think the double's on here. I think he's gone just too far. Which means it Concentrate on getting the object ball safe. I don't think if the double's on it. If he has to force it, he may be able to straighten it up. He's got it. It didn't even seem a natural. What a frame to win. That is incredible. That really is incredible. Looked like there was no way he could win that frame. Come on, he says.
I guess for Lazowski it, it is uh, big because if he loses a frame England are just one from defeat. What a terrific shot that was. Can't afford to leave any of them on, otherwise it's looking like 3-1. Well, this looks like a chance to the green pocket. Uh, struck that very well. Didn't he just? He's not very easily on one here. There's, a, there's an argument he could look at the bulk colour because it'll mean that the next red is easier, but of course the bulk colour color is much more difficult than rolling in the blue. Big shot, this one. Solid. Well, he forced the opening with that terrific snooker. Big shot here to get on the last red. Well, surely, surely he's over screwed, isn't he? Must have played on it in the middle. There has to be a little bit of a tension there in the arm. And the snooker in behind all three bolt colours. Could be a late finish if this goes the distance. Always oh, gone round the back of it. Goodness me. Amazing, isn't it? But it, like I say, it's been that sort of match. In a way, that's not even a shock there because it's just been a crazy sort of game. Lots of twists and turns, Dave, all the way. Yeah, it's like a Hitchcock film. Yes, and I think it was Northern Ireland, wasn't it, where O'Sullivan was snookered four times in the decider. Fifth time he hit the snooker, potted it against Mark Selby. Cleared up. Importantly, he doesn't need the black, and the black's just below its spot, which would have been slightly more difficult down there. Oh, what a frame this is. Quite an amazing fluke, that. Quite low in quality, but very high in excitement. So, blue and pink to make the most of the fluke and make it 2-2 against the odds. What a massive moment for England and Jack Lazowski. And a crushing blow, and not the first in this match, for Nop and Senkam. Well, incredible what happened there. It really was. Fluke the red out the snooker. Made the clearance. He had to make it, and he did. And England are right back in contention. You can see a little resigned look from Senkam. Very disappointed as he leaves the arena. left is potable. Well, I thought he was looking, sort of winding himself up to go for it, and that is okay. Drop the blue in, he'll be in behind the yellow. I see nothing there, but he'll be certainly advantage England if you can get in behind the brown here. That was a good escape. You know, he hit plenty of the, the green there. And it wasn't easy either. Shot he was faced with. Good grief, that was thin. It was. <laughs> Surely not. Well, this really is very, very difficult if he's playing the pot here. When you cue ball and object ball are so close, it's so difficult to see the angle on these. I think he thought better of it. Playing safe. Well, I think that's the right shot. The other shot. He wanted to win the frame there, but sometimes you have to just surrender to your better instincts, I think, and just play percentage shots, especially when the pressure comes on you. You have to stick to your basics then. Wilson needs brown and blue. Tepchire, brown, blue and pink.
Well, agony in the drama continues. And the brown half ball onto the blue, bringing the brown down this end of the table. This is an absolute any, anybody's frame again. Well, it's like every frame's been like a decider. We may well get a decider eventually. What will that be like if it's 3-3? Three, three? Remember, if it is 3, all the captains have to nominate who's going to play the last frame. Earlier on, Scotland and Wales, the two captains put the other guy in, Maguire and Ryan Day. Can't believe Wilson wouldn't put himself in, and that's nothing against Jack Lazowski. It's just that he's that sort of character who'd fancy going out there leading from the front. Here we go, and in off. <laughs> oh, you just don't know, dear, what's going to happen next. He might play it with a bit of stun and widen the angle. Makes the pot more difficult. Well, he may have stuck this. There may be enough of the brown sticking out here. Didn't need the black before the in off, but now a chance. Don't think it went. Hmm. Well, it goes now, and Wilson needs brown and blue. Another very dramatic frame. Remember, England was so close to going 3-1 down before Lazowski fluked the red and made the clearance. So, frame ball. Goodness me. We always talk about what a great rest player he is, and he's missed one there that I did not see happening. Another twist. Did seem to hit it a little hard. Anyways, stuck the blue, so Tepchai and Noon needs the last three. Not going to be on the pink, though. Oh, that is a terrible shot. How has he finished the other side of the pink? I'm not even sure I know what he was playing. He's redeemed himself with that one, of course. But it's second prize. Oh, goodness. If that had gone in, that would have been a fluke to win the frame. Is he going for this? I think he might be. <laughs> well, does it go past the black? Played it well. Well, he's going to have a chance. If I was Kyron here, I'd be thinking, float this in, don't overhit. It's the one thing that he started to creep back into his game. The pink for 3 2. Oh, he got close. So he's two attempts at frame ball he's had. Where's this white? Oh, a bit close for comfort that was. Well, especially when you're eight behind. They've played the cocked hat double this time. Now, I can't see how he won't be on the black, so massive shot here. Or will he be on the black? More than happy with that. Black for the frame. Another very, very dramatic frame, and it's gone to Thailand. Tetchara Nu. One of the twice I was involved in the, the England team that won, it was Steve Davis playing the deciding frame against Dino Kane of New Zealand, and that went to a respotted black. And it was a very, very long frame as well, so it was similar to this. In some ways, that frame was e the equal of it in its, in its drama. Clearly not a World Championship final frame, but it was the World Team Championship. And even the greats can end up more than a little bit edgy. It's almost like he's brought a bit of sanity to things here. This has been a, an excellent break. He's a, such a gifted player, you know, Jack Lizowski. A player I enjoy watching play well because he's got a lot of talent. I, for one, really enjoy seeing him play, and I hope he wins something soon. That's what I'm wondering, though, Neil. You know, if he makes a century here, he 
he's got to stay on, hasn't he? You would think. I don't know. It's, it's a hard call for Kyron, actually. He can't really win. He, he wants to put himself forward, but if Jack wins this frame, it'd be the only frame won in one visit. Well, that's a really good point. Well, it's going to be interesting to find out, isn't it? If I was the captain, I would put him in if he wins the frame here. Only because the way that Kyron finished that last frame it didn't really fill anyone with any confidence. Having said that, he'd also say that Kyron Wilson is one of those guys that find extra when they're under pressure. So it's an awkward call. He's not quite there. 59, just slightly overdid that one. Still on the red. Oh, that's a horrible contact. Oh, it's almost, it's almost seen sparks fly up there. That was a horrific kick, wasn't it? Well, 59, the highest break of the match. It ended on a kick. Will England get another shot now? Not guaranteed to. Not and send calm. I don't know if you played through that gap, but it was a. It's, it's worked out well. Well, I guess this would also be a, a, one of the best clearances of his career. He was to make it. Long way to go. Oh, and that is a good shot. Now, all of a sudden, the twist in this frame might yet happen. That sounded like a kick, but nowhere near as bad as the one Jack Lazowski suffered. No, it's not bad. I mean, it's near the cushion, but he's got the direction towards the red. Now, can he get on a colour? I don't know if he can get on the pink very easily. Well, he's done pretty well there. That's a very solid contact. Goodness me, this is the kind of shot he will have practiced a lot. Playing the blue in and out of bolt onto a single red, it's a shot a player would try and perfect. And he's played it beautifully, he just missed the brown there. Just goes. Wow, fabulous, that is fabulous. This is tense, and this is a big moment. But you can see a look of concern on the English faces watching on. He's either come all round the table or play the pink at sort of medium range. I can understand why he hasn't wanted to play all round the table because it probably would have finished awkwardly. Karen Wilson's not had a shot in this frame and he'll need something to go wrong here to get one. And it has, he's missed the pink. And he will get a shot but England will only be seven in front if this goes in. So... Could be another respot. This is his first shot, as you say, and a really good point. And the fact is, he's not exactly in stroke, is he? He missed frame ball in the previous. Oh, look at Sangam there. He can't... He shut his eyes. He can't watch. It's hard to watch, even as neutral, isn't it? It's incredible drama. So Wilson's first shot of the frame is on the pink. No, I'm not surprised he missed it. Oh, has he missed it? Surely it's not going in. You are kidding. Wow. And he's not on the black very easily. Even so, he could have stuck the pink. That's just, it kind of sums up the match. If you've literally just tuned in, that's what the match has been like. It's been, it's been crazy.
crazy this match. And now look, seven in front. He needs the rest for the black. It's going in, it's going in, and we're going to a decider. Can you believe what's happening? Well, it's been a dramatic day, full stop. Tep Charanu, the Thai captain, has put himself in. Of course, Nop and Senkham had pink and black to win the match. And it seems that, uh, yeah, it's Jack Lazowski, so it's an interesting choice. I think I think Karen's made a good choice, and I, I don't say that in anything against him. There's nothing between these two players, the England players I meant, but at the moment, Lazowski's playing the better snooker. Red certainly goes by the black, and uh, there's no way he meant to screw up that far up the turn. I'm sure of that. Well, he's played on the bottom red, and that was a good shot. <laughs> well, wouldn't you know it that the black. It's coming the way of the blue. Even the snooker behind something here is not probably going to amount to anything. A few people have been asking me as to the reason why the England team isn't Sullivan or Selby or Trump. Well, that they would have been offered the place, of course, as the highest ranked players, and that's how it works. But the highest ranked players for England who wanted to play are the two out there. So first chance for Tepchire. He is the uh, Thai captain. He's ranked one place ahead of Nop and Senkham. But so much has happened all day long. You know, you could write a book on this match. Stretching a bit, wasn't he? Now that was very well struck. He actually nudged the red out into open play. So England with a real chance again here. Now can Jack Lazowski just go on and win this frame? Well, it'd be a first, wouldn't it, in this match if he did? Let's be honest, they've all, all the frames have been extraordinary. got to be a very very good player and he's got all the talent imaginable well he's done well there he had to really gently screw into that Apologise for that. Well, not quite there yet.
Well, this is match ball. It's bottom red. Not, no, he needs to get this. And he has got it. He has got it. That's Jack Lazowski showing some real grit and determination there. Well, there were two balls from defeat. Oppen Singham was attempting to clear from Lazowski's bad luck. The kick in the last frame missed the pink, which Wilson fluked. He then potted the black with the rest. He put Lazowski in. There was no ego about that. He put him in. He saw that he was playing well. He put him in, and it's a great decision. Good teamwork. A clever little shot to put in the black safe. I think we've just about seen the end of a remarkable match, actually. Just love this red in, wouldn't he? And it's gone in. Albeit the local director cut away, but it's gone in. So, in the end, actually quite a one-sided frame for once after such a roller coaster ride of emotions for all four players. It's going to be England into the semis. Terrific game, though. All four players, and you've got to feel for the losing side, whoever they might have been. I think they've all played brilliantly. Been a dramatic afternoon. Well, Thailand obviously are disappointed. They they were two balls from the semi-finals, but Jack Lazowski stepped up here and played a really good last frame. Now all the tension drifts away. A few exhibition shots coming in. They'll be delighted. It wasn't another close frame. He was put in by his captain. There's the clenched fist from Jack Lazowski. He's put England into the semis.